Grab your guitar and a delay pedal with a tap tempo and let's play in 11-8. That's right, 11.8. You know, it's one of my favorite odd meters, and I think it's one of the easier ones to learn how to play. Just like 5.4 or 7.8 or 9.8, odd meters are time signatures that can be broken down into different types of subdivisions. And 11.8 with, you know, 11 beats can be broken down in many ways. The easiest subdivision that I can think of is simply three patterns of three followed by a pattern of two. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. It feels almost normal when you kind of do it just a little bit. And so grab your guitar, let's start practicing. Let's just go with a regular G chord and let's break it down in that same pattern. Here we go. Yeah, it like I said, it almost feels normal. Not quite normal, but almost. Now let's take that G chord and try changing chords. We'll do the standard G, C, D. Here we go. Kind of drop dead simple, isn't it? So if you practice that for what 15 minutes or so, you'll kind of get the pulse in your brain and really kind of figure out what it's all about. Once you've got that down, you can begin to do some interesting things um, with 11.8. So for example, here's another pattern from actually a song that I used to uh, play in in a band that I was a member of. <laughs> And believe it or not, I actually sang on top of that with that song. And no, 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 I'm not going to sing on this video. But it's really not that hard to begin to add in other elements like singing or playing melodies with 11.8 because of the very familiar breakdown of three subdivisions of three followed by two. All right, so this is ambient guitar here on this channel. And what would it be without some delay and you can do some really interesting things by creating patterns on your delay pedal and playing against the 11-8 rhythm. So again, you'll need a delay pedal and it doesn't, this is an El Capistan, right? But it doesn't matter what your delay pedal is. All you need to have is a tap tempo button so that you can tap in the rhythm of the delay. And, and if you've got a fancier delay pedal with different kinds of subdivisions, you know, dotted eighth, dotted quarter, just set that subdivision to quarter note so you've got just a straight delay. So for this first exercise, let's think about that basic subdivision in 11.8, and that is the three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And that's the tempo that I'm going to tap into my delay pedal. One tap for every three beats. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, let me turn on the uh, delay pedal and let me go ahead and play and let's see what we get. Kind of cool. So you can hear the delay follows right in sync until I get to the pattern of two, and then I get a little out of sync. And that gets really interesting when you begin to change chords. So check this out. All right. 
right, that's pretty cool. So for the next exercise, let's dial it back a little bit and let's tap in every two beats. So if I can do this right, I'm gonna tap in on one and on three. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hopefully I got it right. Let's hear what that sounds like. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's got much more of that kind of dotted eighth galloping feeling to it all the way through the pattern, not just on that last subdivision of two. All right, it's getting more complex here. We'll see if I can do this. We're gonna try tapping in every four beats. So it's gonna be four against 11. So that means I'm gonna tap in on one, two, three, one, two. Right, so one, two, three, one, two. That's my four beats. Here we go. Let's see if I can do this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. That's kind of cool. And sorry, I fell out of the 11 eight there at the end, but that's kind of cool because the gallop starts about halfway through. It doesn't wait till the end, but it doesn't come in immediately, but it gets kind of weird, doesn't it? All right, you know where we're going next. It's every five beats. So that's gonna be one, two, three, one, two, three. That's my five beats, so let's try it. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that one's interesting too, and now, Obviously, these are all families of similar feel, right? In the kind of the swirling delay repeats around the 11-8 pattern. Now, let's kind of get back to normal a little bit and let's try every six beats. So it's gonna be a fairly long delay and most of it's gonna be kind of in sync with the pattern. So here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, let's try that. Bet you thought I was going to go all the way up to 11 in terms of the tap tempo. No, 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 no. But you get the picture, right? There's a lot of cool things you can do as you're playing in 11-8 and then setting up your delay to contrast and play off of that 11-8 beat. It's really cool. I find it kind of addicting to just kind of play around with and get these really awesome swirling delay textures. All right, I've got that video here that I did on 5.4. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Also, if you've not yet subscribed to Chords of Orion, it's all ambient guitar all the time. And I will see all of you on the next video.